Happening now, a solar storm is offering up some pretty stunning nighttime images for a third night in a row. That is, depending on where you live. The strongest such storm to hit Earth in two decades will continue overnight tonight, but weather experts say the visibility won't be as strong, only dipping as low as Lake Tahoe. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone is hearing from some in the Bay Area who already got a good look. This image of the northern lights was taken along the side of a vineyard in Yontville Friday by Margie Verdan. I was just so jazzed. I was so amazed at how beautiful the showcase of colors were. Margie couldn't see these images with her eyes. She put her iPhone in night mode, hit the shutter, and took the picture. Then she saw this. It was just in my backyard. Other people had to fly to Ireland and Norway or Alaska just to see those beautiful colors, and I saw it. And while many could only see the northern lights in their pictures, some like Kitty Nikolai, who were far from city lights in Paradise, California, could see them. Starting around 1030, we could literally see it with the naked eye. The photos were just absolutely fantastic. So we got the, we got the purples and the pinks and the greens. I thought I saw a pink hue in the sky. And I, you know how sometimes you question yourself and think it's because you want to see it. <laughs> I close my eyes and I open them again. And I'm like, no, I see pink. We reached there at around 1.15 a.m. And at least for the first half an hour, we could very clearly see them with our eyes. Stanford scholar Sushant Mahajan took these images from an area near the Lick Observatory in Mount Hamilton early Saturday morning. We got a G5. Um, which is why, like, aurorae were visible in all 50 states, even Hawaii. G5 was the highest level solar storm of the weekend. Saturday night was a G3, and Sunday night was a G3, possibly G4, depending on what expert you talked with. All of these images, though, were taken Friday night and early Saturday morning. You had to have it on night mode. And, like, my husband's got the, um, he's got the X, the iPhone X, he doesn't have night mode, so he couldn't see it at all, visually or on his phone. So when the newbies would come in and say, oh, I can't see anything, and, you know, somebody would always run over to them and help them with their phones. Excitement, gratitude. I was awed because of being able to see it. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.